Hey there, students. It's Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. Just kidding, it's Tom Ritchie. <laughs> Tricked you, though, huh? No, maybe not. Well, anyway, we've got some really interesting news from the College Board about emailing exams. Now, anytime I want to learn something worthwhile about AP, I go and I see my friends at marcolearning.com. And there's me over there on the website without a funny haircut. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look here. The headline says, College Board announces a backup email submission option for browser-based exams. Okay, so let's see what the College Board has to say. Beginning Monday, May 18th, and continuing through the makeup window, there will be a backup email submission process for browser-related exams. Wouldn't it have been nice to have that last week for a push, AP Euro, AP Government, uh, AP Physics? I think a lot of people on that exam had a hard time. So you can't go back and do it, but going forward, this is an option. Now note here, this option will only be available for students who were not able to submit in the standard process. And they must then email their responses immediately following their exam, okay? So remember, only if you had trouble and you couldn't use the standard process. Then, these students will see instructions about how to email their response on the page that says, we did not receive your response. The email address that appears will be unique to each student. Okay, so this will be a secure email. The College Board is not publishing an email where people can email their exams. So an email is going to come up at that point and then you will, you know, then send that email to that address. Any student testing between May 18th to 22nd who can't successfully upload their response through the exam platform or send it to us by email will need to request a makeup exam. So if you're even failing at email, then you'll have to request a makeup exam. To protect the security and validity of exams, we're unable to accept submissions from students who tested May 11th to 15th. However, these students can feel confident that the email option will be in place for them during the makeup exam. So the College Board may have let you down last week, but you can feel confident they're not going to let you down again. Now, of course, that's a POV College Board, right? So we'll see what the, uh, what the credibility is there, right? Email submissions will not be available for the world language exam. So you're not going to be able to go in there and say, hey, I want to email my, uh, my Espanol or something like that. And you're going to talk to them. They're not going to let you do that. So foreign language exams, sorry about that. Or sorry, not sorry from the College Board. And so what we can see here, there are even some frequently asked questions. Um, the best way to get to this, okay, best way to get to this is just go to marcolearning.com. And right now, it is is the headline. So if you're watching this over the next couple days, that's going to be the easiest way to get there. And keep in mind that Marco Learning has all kinds of resources. You've got lesson plans, practice tests, and study guides. So practice tests for 10 different AP exams. Uh, that's something that could be very worthwhile for you, uh, including those exams this week, like AP World. And then also you can download some beautiful study guides. And we'll go ahead and just show you this study study guide pack for AP World History, which is just an example. And you can see here where we've got all of these different key words taking you through everything that's going to be on the exam. So great source of review here. Good luck on your exams, everyone, those of you who are taking it on week two and those of you who will be making up your exams later. I'm Tom Ritchie and I'm here to help. It's always a pleasure.